Hello everyone, I'm Leader of Luxnape, and welcome back to the route of which I dreaded my return. In the last episode, you defeated Gym Leader Claire at the Blackthorn City Gym, and after a small period of her disbelief, quested into the Dragon's Den, got the Dragon's Fang, a great item for Hydra, and received our 8th Gym Badge. We also learned how to get to the Pokemon League, and received the Master Ball, the ultimate Pokeball from Professor Elm. In this episode, we're going to head into the Whirl Islands. See what we can do there now that we have HM Waterfall. Uh, for the record, this is the southwest island of the four. I took it because it's the closest to Cyanwood City. And also for the record, I'm staring at a map now and I still have no idea what I'm doing. So, bear with me. All right. Tentacruel. Not annoying me this time, since so they got a level 33 out front. Alright. So, quickly showing what items I have. I bought a lot less Pokeballs than I probably should have. Four Great Balls, 16 Ultra Balls, and the Master Ball. I'm trying to do this without using the Master Ball. So... Yeah. Uh, you need Flash for here, so... Good thing I kept that. All right, so Southwest Island. You could go over that water to get to another ladder. I'm not showing all the stuff you can do in the World Island. There's no trainers, but there is like a lot of items. And the deeper you go in, the stronger the Pokemon get. They get uh, strong to the relevance. Like in the chambers you access with Waterfall, they're strong enough for post 8th gym wilds, but in this case they're only post 5th or 6th gym wilds. Well, post 5th or 7th gym wilds since price could be any of them. Uh, there's your escape rope, you're gonna wanna need that, or want to keep that. Um, that strength rock only goes one, okay. So this way that I went, it's good for getting out. Of course, I'm using the escape rope for getting out, but... I don't want to do Pokemon. Alright. So, remember this. There's ledges in the strength rock that lead to here. There's also wild Pokemon that lead in here. You can find wild Krabby, as you saw before. Seal. Tentacle, proliferate in the waters, of course. Magikarp while fishing. It's like a fusion of mahogany. It's like all the Pokemon in the mahogany gym that you did not see in the ice path. Guard spec there, nothing good. Combined with some of the Pokemon that would appear outside on the route. Okay, we are now in the bottom of the main room. That's the way out that we just saw. So, I when I find the specific room, I'm gonna know, like, what I'm doing once I get to the room, but... The way to the room is something I don't really know. Surprisingly, there's no hidden items there. Alright, there you got a hidden Ultra Ball. They are... Giving you a hint, there's... They're going to be generous at the balls here. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, there's a calcium. I'm going to use that right now. Alright. Calcium raises both specials. So I would see fit to give that to her Festus, just because it uses the, spe the um, special fire moves. Alright. As you can see, I actually did the wrong thing and exited out another island. So I'm going to need to figure out which island I'm on now. I know it's one of the northern ones, which is the right one to go. I just wanted to see what was in that path. So... If this is one of the northern ones, I'm just going to go to the other north one. That's not... 
Oh, dang it. I'm a bit off my game here, as you can probably tell. And we got tentacle stuff again. Where's the way out of this? this? Maybe this is this has to be there, the south one actually. I don't know what I was thinking. Now, if I could even find the exit from this part, because I know you have to, each one is whirlpool accessible. I wouldn't do that. Bear with me. This is going to be a long and stupid episode. Well, not really stupid. And long. Well, it, it, it's stupid until I get to what I'm looking for. How about we say that? Because it's true. It's going to be stupid until I find what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, it's got to be. Are you serious? They made an island completely fenced in, so now I have to go through the island to get back out. Might want to actually just fly to Olivine, even. Ah, oh, there's the whirlpool. In word there for a second. Uh, I started. I obviously started from Cyanwood, like I said. I think I'm on. This is the south one. It's the other south one. I think it's the other south one, at least. It's got to be the other south one. So I'm gonna just head north. Probably a few train. Okay, that was actually. Ah! The train I didn't. <sighs> See you in a minute of wing attack spam. Actually, no. She's only got one Pokemon. It's just a seal. Since I didn't use it in the Claire fight and Horus learned it off screen, just gonna show off wing attack's animation. Like I said, it's just a stronger flying type move. No big deal there. It's gonna use Growl. So, and given what's coming ahead, I would have actually healed Horus. No, ah, I didn't finish the old-fashioned way. Oh well. Given what's coming ahead, I would have actually healed Horus there if the seal had attacked it. Right, heading up here, I'm going to try the northwest island first. So, as you saw, the two south islands are connected. And they're just good for a couple items, that's about it. Let me guess, I haven't fought you either. Ah! 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 Okay, he's got one. And it's a quillfish! What kind of person has one quillfish these days? Ah, funny times. Okay, as long as this doesn't do, like, six or more damage, I'm not healing. Is it ten? Um, not too big of a difference. Horus won't really be needed for what's coming ahead. At least I'm finally reaping the CXP. Let's see, the secret to my strength is that I didn't fight you until I had the necessary gym badges to not even care about whether I had ever fought you. Okay, so... Go around the Northwest Island. I... They made navigating the Whirl Islands around them better in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Even when you had the auto running shoes on, the wild encounter rate was decreased so much. Or at least, I, at least, like, you can remember where you're going even when you're interrupted by a battle in the Gen 4 version. In this version, you have to look around for like 20 more steps and then run into another Pokemon before you can figure out what you were doing in the first place! Alright, uh, controller error. There we go. Okay. Whirlpool Gate is... here. I'm really hoping it's this island, because I don't want to have to go around the entire other island searching for an opening. Okay. 
Okay, if you walk around that walk around. Yeah, I'm probably rock walking the wrong way. Or there there is three there are three wrong ways. As a matter of fact. It's weird, that's a glitch in the game from the one entrance. I didn't need flash. Okay. That away will lead you to items and ladder. You don't really want up ladders in here, you want down ladders because you have to go down to the bottom of the islands to find the thing we're trying to find. And if I have a rappel, I might as well just use it. I mean, at this rate. Not even gonna get to, at least, okay. Should be happy I have the escape rope. Can't forget that. That's Carbos, it will up speed. I might actually give that to, I'm give that to Hydra. Hydra seems that it could benefit from speed better than anyone else. If I would have really raged if I'd accidentally used the escape rope there, that would have been bad. All right, done that. That's a down hole, actually. The way I'm trying to go, I don't think that's the right way. I think there's one other proper direction to go. If this is the right way, then good for me. I don't have to do the other island if it isn't. Nope. But it will get you two good items to save, a max elixir. And a full restore. Remember, the next time you get into this room, something good will happen. This is where we're trying to go. Okay. Think I know where I'm going now. Maybe blocked by ledges, but I know where I'm actually going. Oh wait, I actually should check for repels. No. Of course. I must have actually used them. They don't really give you that many repels for free in this game. You have to buy most of them. Kind of weird, but that wasn't the Z button. Hold on. Unpress the Z button. Gonna see if you could play the game while the Z function on the Game Boy Player was pressed, but I realized you had to press A to activate most of its functions, so, you know? That will give you another full restore. You're actually being pretty generous with healing items in this case. Well, of course, they have to be generous with healing items when you jump off a ledge and there's a wild Pokemon. Like, how do you miss that? How can you not just... Avoid jumping literally on top of the seal. Alright, I'm at least sort of close. Oh no, I'm not even anywhere nearly close. Gonna need to take the other island, but might as well figure out what's in this direction since there's at least an item. Other islands. The, oh, that's a nugget. I could use that. All right. I want to see what this does. This will give you an ultra ball. And let me jump that ledge. I can't tell the sprites for ledges and caves are awful. You can't really tell which direction they are. I'm thinking I'm out of luck here, but. Yep. You can jump into that zone, but not out of it. So, you need to take the other island. That's not the right way. And of course, the only ladder in the section for the other island is the right one. Of course. It's just the way stuff works, you know? 
All right, yep, it's the Northeast Island. So if you don't want any of those free items, or, yeah, there's another free item, or not. You don't want any of the free items they're sh sh shoving at you. Then just take the Northeast Island. It leads directly to what you want to do. Now keep in mind, this part pertains only to Silver Version. You don't have to go through the annoyance that is the Royal Islands if you're playing Gold. In Gold, what you can do, you still need eight gym badges to it. They're fair with that. Go to the Bell Tower. Bell Tower in Ecartic City. In there, you will find the gold version counterpart to what I'm attempting to do right now. Okay. Don't worry. It's only been 16 minutes. I'm not going to use a cliffhanger. Not spoiling the surprise because it's pretty obvious what it is by now. Please let that be the whirlpool area. Alright, good. Other Island, I believe, has another North Edge Whirlpool. Also has Pokemon. And by Pokemon, I mean Tentacool or its evolution. Alright. Luckily, that guy didn't notice me. Since I'm escape roping and then fly. Oh, right, that's the trainer I fought. Good. Alright, I was wrong. Entrance is on the south side, of course. Just means another man into pointless wandering around. Nothing anyone who's dumb enough to watch my videos would be used to. Or not be used to. More Pokemon. At this rate, I'm going to find a shiny Pokemon before I reach the bottom of the World Islands. I'm actually kind of hoping this happens. You know... Because, never really mentioned this, but throughout my Pokemon gaming career, I have ran into two shiny Pokemon in the wild. I have gotten numerous ones by story occasions or other scripted things, including a Red Gyarados in any Johto game I've ever played. But I've only seen two Pokemon that were shiny ever. First one was in Emerald, which was my very first video game that I ever played. So I was like really, really happy that I was able to take part in the myth, or the almost a myth for people who don't know about the internet, of shiny Pokemon. That was cool, except I accidentally KO'd it. Almost never used that Beautifly again. So that happened. That was annoying. Didn't really ever expect to see another shiny in my life because I still had the bad luck I do now then. Or I had already gotten the bad luck I do now then. But then, in Platinum, many years later, I ran into another shiny Pokemon. Got a chance to catch it. There's a Max Revive! Nice. Unfortunately, both of said Pokemon were Zubat. So I have never, in the wild, found a non- or Found a non-Zubat shiny. That's not sad. I don't know what is. Alright, so you're going to want to take to the water there. That ladder down at the bottom of the screen was where we were before. This is like the only place in the game where you'll find wild horsey. I believe by fishing you could even find Seedra. And somehow you can run into wild Pokemon on waterfalls. Of course, there's still, you know, the whole tentacruel thing. So, what are we gonna do? Okay. That's the ladder out. Save before entering that room, I think. Well, no, at Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you'd have to save before entering that room, but. Just for the sake of it, I am going to save before entering that room and not after I enter it. So I'm missing 10 H... Really? I swear to God. Okay. If that was a shiny Zubat, I was just going to put my controller through the TV. I mean, honestly. 
All right, Pokemon. Not Hephaestus first. Thor first. Hephaestus may be helpful. Sunny Day could actually pose some use in this fight. All right. So we'll save. Head on through. Just surf up here. Look at that. Face its direction. Save. Welcome to the only three games in Pokemon history where the mascot legendary was not required to find. Talk to it. And again, normal battle music spoils everything for you. That is Lugia. Psychic flying type Pokemon. That is the mascot of Silver. If you ascended to the top of the bell tower instead, you would have ran into Ho-Oh, which is a fire flying type. Now, as you can see, Lugia has just used its signature move, Aeroblast. Luckily, it's using it on Thor for some ungodly reason. Aeroblast is a 120 power flying type move with a high critical hit rate, but only 85% accuracy and 5 PP. Lugia has Recover. Um, kind of forgot about that. I only remembered its attack. It has Gust still for some reason. Lugia is actually sometimes known, especially in the Gen 4 games, for having well, some water type specialty. Which is good. It's using up its Recovers when it has full HP. I never got that, really. So, see, it's got Safeguard. Aeroblast. Gust, and, um, uh, Recover. So, it's, like, ridiculously good. Because, you know, it has one good attack move, and I have, like, two Pokemon that resist that. Alright. Accuracy as low as it could possibly go, so... Basically, now we just get to wail away at it, and spam trying to catch it. Somehow it managed to hit through all that. It's gotta be like a 10% chance of actually hitting with that? I don't know. So. Thunder Punch, that all happened. Luckily, Safeguard doesn't heal it. That would have been annoying. I'm going to switch Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Do I have anybody that would not very affect flying? Horus wouldn't have any. Hephaestus wouldn't have any. Um, Hephaestus would have Dynamic Punch. I doubt it's going to do much in Power Fusion since I made it certain that I... Well, no! Nah! It's at the lowest accuracy it could have! Okay, I'm going to try Dynamic Punching it. Gonna quad resist it so it's gonna do a very little amount of damage. We just barely get it into the red before. Okay. There, now it's not even confused because the safeguard. I'm gonna just go for another dynamic punch then. It's three dynamic punches in a row, that's pretty good. Alright, that happened. Alright, safeguard faded. So, if you use a safeguard again, I'm gonna go for another two dynamic punches. But since it faded, I don't want to risk confusing it. So there, 18 Ultra Balls, we can just start throwing them. We saw Lugia's moves, so... With it breaking out immediately, of course. And it's somehow hitting with Gust! How is it even possible? Of course I'm going to use my next Pokémon. This go a bridge. The bridge could wall anything it will throw at it. It could even survive multiple struggles from it. Uh, if I was stupid, I would use Rock Smash, but I know I just get a critical hit on it. Alright. Okay. Yeah, broke out again. Uh, I'm just checking to see what Ho-Oh's moves would actually even be. Also, I've been calling the uh, 
tower where ho is by two different names. In the Gen 2 games, it is the Tin Tower. In Gen 4, it is the Bell Tower. Quite simple. I don't even know why they changed it. Maybe, uh, I don't think its Japanese name was changed. Maybe it was a... Um... Thing to make it not sound like Twin Tower? I have no idea, but they did it. Cannot really seem to find Holo's move set for that battle. I mean, we saw Lugia's, of course, so. Alright. Sorry if this isn't very good commentary. I'm just trying to look for Holo's move set. I mean, obviously, I should do that. Uh. Caught. Good. All right. Safeguard faded. Hephaestus has gotten no point in really reviving it here. All right. Uh, one shake. Blah blah blah. No real big deal. Like I'm totally upbeat about the. Oh, it actually got a recover off. Are you serious? Good thing I have the rock type out then. Alright, uh... It's getting moves off again for some reason. It's not good. Uh, I'm gonna low kick it. Quad resistance, still gonna... What? It did... It did... <laughs> did this HP bar literally not... Screw you, Lugia! Like, did its HP bar literally not move from that? That's ridiculous! That is legitimately ridiculous. In that case, I'm pretty sure strength would be okay. So. Yeah. Strength. Alright, another strength will just do good damage. Alright, it's gonna recover again, of course. Not like that's surprising. Alright, I am sorry, I cannot seem to find Ho's move set for that battle, but I'm pretty sure it's. Well, I know one of its moves. One of its moves will be the fire type sacred fire move. Very, very powerful move. And it's Ho's signature. That's good. It's going to fail Gust, of course. It is 100 damage, 100 power, 95 accuracy. For once, the underrated legendary actually gets the better move. Uh, 5 PP, and it has a chance of burn. So, basically, we just get to sit here, watch me throw balls at it. It's almost been half an hour of this. Right! Right! Now it gets caught! Okay! I admit the commentary for that was pretty bad. Especially because I was... Quite annoyed by the Whirl Islands. But anyway... Lugia, the diving Pokémon. It is said to be the guardian of the seas. It is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. I will not be nicknaming Lugia, as using a legendary in battle is against my principles of Pokemonism. So now we can finally use our escape rope and just... Did my controller just die on me? No. Get out of here. Escape rope. Watch it somehow fail. Okay, appearing on the entrance to the cave... I mean, like, couldn't they just put you on outside the entrance like in every other game? Alright, gonna take default. Uh, fly choice to New Bark Town. Gonna just speak to the professor, I guess. Master Ball didn't really come in handy. Uh, he still wants to see the Togepi. Of 
course, we're never going to actually give it to him. Heal our Pokemon. And put Horus back in front, since Horus is starting to level up. Walk out. Gonna head off to the Pokemon League now. Guess the one thing we have left to do is... Talk to Mom. Yes, I will. Take... All the money I got. Oh, that would actually... That actually does that. set it down from zero, it'll just delete everything. That's stupid. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. There we go. Alright. So, what we're gonna do is save. No, I don't want to do that. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Want to battle? You know what? In the next episode, we are not going to head out to the Elite Four. In the next episode, we're going to finally, finally, finally silent, silently finance. We're going to finally silence the voice of that fisherman. Until then, I know you've been waiting for me to do this. I'm Leader of Luxonape, signing to the off.